I won't lie, this trailer has got me interested. Hey, what's up, nerd fam? It's your boy, Gashan. I want to welcome you to Enter the Nerd. Today, we talk about the Batman trailer that was uh, unveiled at DC Fandom. So, a couple things to note before going into the trailer. Now, from everything that I've seen before and everything that I've heard about the Batman, um, honestly, I I always had like a feeling like, and I'm not, obviously we haven't seen the movie yet, but I've always had, I still have this feeling like this is going to be probably one of the better, or maybe even the best thing that's coming out of DC in terms of films besides, you know, the Joker, because Matt Reeves does not have to worry about fitting this into the rest of the, the overarching DCEU, and he can just kind of focus on the story that he's trying to tell here, which I think is so important for the DCEU going forward, because they don't seem to have a singular vision. I mean, they, they just don't. These films seem to be very disjointed. But... That's just my thought initially. And then hearing a lot of things like, you know, this is kind of, you know, barring from obviously year one. So there are a lot of influences. And obviously I could be a comic book purist and hate every single thing about, you know, you know what I see, you know. But look, Matt Reeves pretty much said it's not going to be a carbon copy. Like they're saying that. And I prefer the honesty that you're not going to do exactly this and just be influenced from it. And just saying that versus trying to gaslight and make um, fans... They go, oh, you know, we're being comic book accurate and everything, and it's not. And he's not doing that, and I and I actually appreciate that. So, going into the trailer, there were a lot of things to like about this in terms of the overall mood, how they, you know, they just set up they need immediately showing um uh probably uh Nigma getting um arrested and they like you know, you know, they're obscuring his face and everything, and even showing how enraged. Batman is or Bruce actually when he's you know whether he's in a civilian gear or he's inside of the suit you just get pure rage from him and I get it he is like this um very undisciplined form like he's still very very new to this and I'm sure they're gonna flesh out like why he's so angry not just you know because of what happened with his parents maybe just um Gotham City uh police department just not doing their jobs and like he has to do it for them and just watching like the city burn and just pissing him off and I get that I like it because if he's not going to be this big um muscular super technical Batman then this has to have his own calling card you know film-wise and creatively and this like very rage and emotionally charged Batman you know and everyone worried about him including like you know um, Alfred and everybody and even seeing his dynamic with Catwoman or Selena Kyle whatever um, is going to be interesting because she maybe she had like this weird calming effect to him or you know while he takes the world too seriously she kind of you know lightens him up maybe that could that could be what it is but I'm actually very interested to see what's going on cinema uh the cinematography in this actual trailer is pretty awesome there's actually a scene I really like where he's walking down a dark hallway and the only thing that's lighting up the hallway is the fact that they're like shooting him and it's rick and the bullets are ricocheting off of his suit uh i like that stuff it's the fact that he seems to just be kind of out of his mind i like that maybe they're also borrowing from the whole arkham thing you know how his mom might have been actually kind of crazy too if they're borrowing from that that would be kind of cool i would kind of like that as well because he does seem a bit off and i like that unique flair so i want to see what matt reeves is going to do with this you know it's too early i haven't seen the movie yet but my thing is if a person's going to Make their own creative spin. At least in whatever world you build, let the storytelling and plot points be good. And I'm hoping it is, just for the sake of watching a good movie. Because look, we all like Joker. A lot of us did. And that wasn't comic book accurate, but it was still a good movie for what it gave us. So I'm hoping this is one of those two. And I'm hoping, you know, the brutality is what it is. I'm hoping with the Riddler, maybe there is actual mystery here. There's something that it's not just him beating the crap out of people. It is him also having to be a detective. That would also be cool. Just getting bits of those things and also exploring like maybe like the social hierarchy in Gotham 
and getting to know these characters in a way that we might not have gotten a chance to know them in, in prior things. I want to see if it challenges. I, I do. I'm actually very interested in this. I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt with this because I, I do like it. As much as I am a bit of a purist in terms of characters, I like it if a person is up front and just says, hey, I'm trying to do this. It's based on some comic book stuff. It is. But I'm I'm just trying to... I, I'm being honest with you. I'm doing my take on this. And I want to see. Because this actually looks pretty cool. I like the whole scene with the penguin where, you know, he thinks he blew him up and, you know, the Batmobile comes out of there, like, out of the fire. And that's like a symbol. Even like when you talk about the bat signal, you know, it's not just, you know, signaling him. It's supposed to be like a warning. Like, he wants people to be afraid of him. Like, he's just the embodiment of it. He just, I, I like that. I really like that about this trailer. Let me know. Did you like the trailer? What did you like about it? Let's talk about it. Into the nerd. Nerd. <laughs>